Have you ever received an email notification from Google, like this one, telling you someone has requested management of your Google My Business listing? If you have your listing maybe at risk of being hijacked and taken away from you. Yes, it is possible. If you don't know what to do or if it hasn't happened to you yet, I strongly recommend you watch this video because you could be next. Hey, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk. If it's your first time here today, why don't you subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. There is an increasing number of of Google My Business hijacking cases being reported in the Google My Business Community Help Center and other specialized forums. Business owners who have been victims of hijackers end up in a world of pain and don't know what to do. And if you're not careful, you could be the next victim. Since prevention is better than cure, I thought it was a good idea to make a video on this topic so you don't end up sharing the same fate in case your listing becomes a target. If unfortunately it's already too late and your listing has already been hijacked, I'll go through what you can do so you can try reclaiming ownership of it. First, let's have a look at what hijacking a Google My Business listing really means. The easiest way to explain this is to search for the definition of hijacking in Google which is an act of unlawfully seizing an aircraft, vehicle or ship. If you replace the word aircraft, vehicle or ship with Google My Business listing instead, you have your answer right there. Once your listing has been seized, you've lost total control of it. The question you might want to ask is, why would anyone want to do that? Believe it or not, despite being free, your Google My Business listing is an extremely valuable asset of your business overall. If you've run a business for a while and created a listing for it, you've probably built it up. You've taken the time to collect customer reviews for it, published posts, images, added your services and products to it, and made it relevant for the keyword you are targeting. If this is the case, and your listing ranks high in local search results and on Google Maps for your targeted keywords, you probably get some really good customer leads in the form of calls or website clicks which have enormous value. By hijacking an already established listing, hijackers can shortcut the time it takes to build authority and relevance in local search, which can take months if not years to establish with a brand new listing. All the hijackers need to do once they've seized control of a listing is to modify the website link it points to or change the phone number it's associated with, for example, and wait for customer leads to come through to them. The next question is, who on earth would want to steal your listing? The most obvious candidates would be your direct competitors. Here is an example of a local cab company whose six-year-old listing was hijacked by a competitor. The hijackers changed the business name, the telephone number, the website address, and obviously kept the reviews and completely denied they knew anything about it. Despite multiple attempts and after calling and emailing Google support, the business owner was not able to reclaim his listing. Other types of hijackers could be dishonest marketers preying on gullible business owners. They will seize listings claiming they've somehow unlocked them and make themselves the primary owners in the process. They will then try and sell you their services such as maintenance of the listing or third-party software such as online reservation systems often used with restaurants listings, for example. The third type is the wannabe hacker who thinks he could have the starring role in an next Matrix movie. They just do it to be annoying, but they can be equally damaging. In all cases, these hijackers all use the same method, which is appallingly easy. Let me show you how they do it. Let's say I'm a web design company and I want to hijack the listing of one of my competitors. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to hijack a listing from a random business. Instead, I'm going to use a list listing I own so you can see the whole process. All I need to do is sign into Google using a dummy Gmail address and bring up the listing panel for the business I want to take over in Google by searching for its name. You may have noticed that on every business listing panel there is a link that says own this business. The hijacker will click on it. It will take him to a screen saying the business is already claimed. The next step the hijacker will take is to click on the request access button, which will lead to a form in which he can share the dummy Google email address he is using and specify the access he requires. In this case, it would be ownership, so let's tick both boxes. He will also be required to add a phone number. He can add a valid phone number, which he might need to verify the listing later on. Then he will submit the form. Once submitted, the next window will display a new message saying the request for ownership has been sent to the current owner. But the important part of the message is this. If you haven't received a response from them, i.e. the current owner, in the next three days, you will be able to verify your affiliation with the business to gain access. This means that as a business owner, 
you have only three days to act before the hijacker is potentially in the position to seize control of your listing. At this stage, two things will happen. First, the hijacker will receive an email to confirm he has requested ownership of your listing. The email includes a review request button. Clicking on the button will lead to a screen recapping the date by which the owner has to respond. This is also the screen the hijacker will need to come back to in three days to claim the listing, should the owner of the listing ignores the request. At the same time, the real owner of the listing will receive a notification from Google from the following address, google-my-business-noreply at google.com, telling him that someone has requested ownership of a listing they own. Should the legitimate owner ignores the request and three days have gone by, all the hijacker needs to do is go back to the confirmation email they initially received when requesting ownership, click on the view request button and become the new owner of the listing. Now you know how it's done. Don't be surprised if you receive an email from Google My Business No Reply at google.com in your inbox one morning requesting access to your listing. But what should you do if you receive one? Act as quickly as possible. As we've seen any hijacking process, according to Google's help documentation, the current profile owner, which in this case will be you, has only three days to respond. Still, according to the documentation, if you don't provide a response after three days, the requester might have the option to claim the profile. If you delay for more than three days to reject it, or some other user linked to the Google My Business account gives access, the hijacker can take control of your listing and remove you from the listing and change all the details of it. So as soon as you receive the email, open it. Click on the review request option. Select the reject request option. Add a reason why you are rejecting the request, such as I'm the legitimate owner of the listing, then click on reject. Unfortunately, that may not be enough to deter the hijackers and you may receive multiple requests from different accounts. If this is the case, report this suspicious activity to Google using their third-party violation complaint form using the link in the description below. The next question is, how can you protect your listing even more from being hijacked? Firstly, make sure your listing is verified and you are the primary owner of it. Delete any additional users you can't recognize. Secondly, hijackers are fully aware of the three-day window rule and will typically send requests for ownership of a listing on a Friday evening. This will leave owners very little time to respond if they don't check their email over the weekend. The email might also be drowned in a sea of spam communication many business owners receive regularly and go unnoticed. So here is a quick tip to avoid any nasty surprises. To make sure you don't miss any random ownership request email, I suggest you set up some filters in your email client. This way, the email will be highly noticeable when you receive it. For example, I have set up some filters in my Gmail account that automatically highlight any email I might receive from the address Google uses to send ownership requests and ensure it is delivered right at the top of my inbox so I can't miss it. If you're a Gmail user and want to know how to do this, it's super simple. First, create a new label and call it Google My Business. Once your label is created, hover on it within your existing list and click on the three dots next to it. Give your label a color. I think red is a pretty good choice. From the search mailbar, click on the search option symbol. In the from field, add the following address, Google My Business No Reply at google.com. Then click on create a filter. Select the star it option and mark as important. In the apply label drop down, choose the Google My Business label you've just created. Then click on create filter. Finally, click on the gear icon and scroll down to the priority inbox option. Click on customize. From the inbox type, make sure priority inbox is selected. From the inbox sections, click on the drop down next to the first inbox section slot and choose more options. Search for your Google My Business listing label, then select it and save your changes. Once you've done that, whenever someone requests ownership of your listing, the email request will pop up right at the top of your inbox, start and with a red label. You just can't miss it. But what if it's already too late and your listing has already been hijacked? As we've seen with our cab company example, it can be tricky to reclaim your very own listing. But the first thing to bear in mind is not all requests are malicious. There can be cases when ownership of a listing has been accidentally attributed to the wrong owner, following the merge of multiple listings by Google, for example. So before pointing fingers at anyone, I recommend you try reclaiming what is yours. Just like a hijacker would, you can claim ownership of your listing if you are the genuine owner of the business 
it is associated with. I'm not going to go through the whole process in today's video. Instead, I suggest you watch my video called How to Claim Ownership of a Google My Business Listing, which explains how to do this in detail. If you are unable to reclaim your listing because the hijacker is unwilling to give it up, try reaching out to Google using this form. Hopefully Google will help you recover it or at the very least give you an answer as to why they can't. Last but not least, report the hijacker using this violation report form which could also help retrieve your listing. I don't wish for any of you to end up in this scenario as it could end up costing you thousands of dollars and be very damaging to your brand. As time goes by, Google My Business listings are becoming more valuable, meaning more desirable and the prey to your hackers. Stay vigilant and protect it like you would protect your bank account. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video was useful. If you think so, please give it a thumbs up. If it was your first time here today, remember to subscribe. And until next time, happy marketing.